The video you're about to watch is a preview from one of my fashion design courses available online on Fashion Premier Academy. If you're interested in finding out more about it or enrolling, click the link below. Okay, Roll. next I'm gonna show you how to draft a sailor cover, which looks like this in the front and like that in the back. Uh, there are variations, obviously. In other words, if, you, if we make this area wider here, it will affect the shoulder area and come, coming down to the front. The front can come to a single point at center front, uh, like this, or you could have an embellishment in the front, like a, a bow, for example. The drafting process is similar to the Peter Pan collar we just finished, where the, we take the front and the back slopers and we put it together at the shoulder seam right and then we start drafting it so let's do it okay so here's my back sloper center back place center back on your dotted paper and like i said we're going to take our front bodice and connect the two shoulder seams together and i'm going to trace my center back, my neckline, both the back and the front neckline, come down center front, so you have that, okay? So I decided to make my center back length eight inches, so I'm gonna measure eight inches and put a little cross mark And I'm gonna square a line, square meaning we're creating a 90 degree angle, like so. And the width of it, um, it's eight inches, but we're working on half of it, so it's um, four inches. So I'm gonna measure four inches is right here. Put a little cross mark. Next. Uh, I decided to uh, have my center front lower to six inches. Next, I'm going to use my hip curve to connect my center front cross mark to my back and so from center, front, cross mark, come across to the back cross mark. And now we're going to create one final line from your neckline to my center front cross mark. So I'm gonna take my ruler and line it up from my center front cross mark to my Neck line right there and draw one straight line. Okay, this will disappear, that'll be gone. That will become my sailor collar. Center back will be cut on the fold so that it looks like this. There you have it. And just like we did in the Peter Pan collar and the Mandarin collar, we would cut this twice, one for the top collar, one for the under collar, so you have two layers together to create the sailor collar. Thank you for watching this video. Check out all the videos available on Fashion Premier Academy. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you'll be notified every time I post a new video, which is every week. I'll see you in class.